So guys, today I'm going to be making the famous Opera Tavern pork and foie gras burger. It's become a really big seller here, we sell kind of thousands a month. Uh, so I'm going to let you into the secrets of the burger. So what I've got here is some minced Iberico, um, minced Iberico pork. This comes from the shoulder. What I need to do to that is I need to add some sea salt. Got some shallots that have just been cooked down in butter, a little bit of olive oil. Put those in there, that's going to give a little bit of sweetness to the burger. There we go. And then the secret ingredient is grated foie gras. So I've just frozen the foie gras, grated it when it's frozen, so it's easy to grate. Put that into the, the burger mix. Panko breadcrumbs, nice and flaky, and they'll absorb moisture but also hold in the fat. And then just to moisten it up a little bit, a little bit of milk. There we go. So I just want to give that a mix. and then make a little ball and then on a board just form it into your patty so that's ready but what we need to do first is put that in the fridge for an hour to chill up and firm up otherwise you're going to have problems when you're grilling it so I'm just going to pop that in the fridge this has been nicely sat in the fridge for about an hour it's nicely firmed up and we're going to grill it so burger, a little bit of olive oil on there, you don't want too much because there's lots of foie gras in there and the, the pork's quite fatty so it's going to release its own fat, but just to give it a little glaze so it doesn't initially stick. Straight on the grill. With this pork you want to cook it medium, it's, uh, it's got such a good breeding, such a good heritage, you can cook it medium, medium rare without any problems at all, it's got qualities of red meat and wild boar. So, normal pork burger, if you were going to use normal pork, cook it all the way through, kind of no pink. This, absolutely fine to have some pink juiciness in there. In fact, it just accentuates the flavours of the meat. Just got a nice little burger bun here. And just for, just to make it kind of nice and, nice and charry, nice and smoky, I'm going to give it a little seal on the grill as well. What I need to do is just check underneath. There'll be a little caramelisation bar marks on the burger. And then when that's happened, then you turn it over and you repeat on the other side. When that's ready, then we'll move it up to the, to, to the next level to finish the cooking. Okay, so I've got a little char on my, uh, on my burger bun. And I'm just gonna leave that at the top there to keep nice and warm. So while that's cooking, um, we've got here some regular butterhead lettuce. Now here we've got some red onion marmalade that we've, uh, we've made downstairs in the kitchen. So that's red onions, finely sliced, and cooked in brown sugar and Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar. So it's nice and jammy, kind of sweet and sour flavors. Here I've got some cheese, and cheese we're using is Manchego. It's a Spanish, um, Spanish sheep's milk cheese. I've got some uh, hot guindia peppers here from Northern Spain. They're just a nice kind of Spanish compliment to, uh, to the burger. Some onion rings, red onion rings, that we, uh, we dredge in uh, uh, milk and flour, deep fry, add to crunch the burger. So, let's have a little look now. And you can see you've got a nice caramelization on the burger. That's sweetness, that's flavor. That's exactly what you want. So we're just gonna give it a minute on the other side. Get the same on the underside. Smells gorgeous. All that foie gras is kind of starting to melt through the burger. You get the, get the foot, you know, the, the really good scent. Where you use the next level, it's just a bit more even, steady heat. So just move that up, there we go. Pop that up there. And I'm probably gonna give that two minutes up there. So. I'm happy with that. So I think now we're gonna make the burger. Okay, so gonna build the burger. So I've got my base here, still warm. And a little bit of homemade aioli on the bottom. And a slice of our butterhead lettuce. We've got our red onion marmalade, nice and sticky, sweet and sour. Goes on there. And the burger. A bit of the manchego. And the onion rings. And lastly, top with our bun, skewer through the middle, just to 
hold it all together. We'll finish with a couple of these spicy gindir. So there you go, that's the Opera Tavern pork and foie gras burger with gindir peppers on the side.